Well, welcome back to this special edition of Inside Indiana Business, a quality of life town hall coming to you from the Ironworks Hotel Indy, powered by your Indiana Pacers. Now, the Ironworks Hotel is the only boutique hotel on the north side of Indianapolis, located just west of Keystone Crossing. The hotel, set in a modern warehouse style building, features fine dining, shopping, and residential units as well. Well, it's being called the largest mixed-use technology campus in the Midwest and is now under development just south of downtown South Bend. The Renaissance District is a multi-block area. Its centerpiece will be the Studebaker campus. Now, the space will feature office, co-working, residential, retail, entertainment, labs, and a lot more. And for more, let's turn now to Global Access Point CEO Kevin Smith. Kevin, welcome to the program. Oh. And uh, I should mention Global Access Point is, is a technology company, a carrier hotel. Yes, sir. Uh, in, uh, operating in South Bend. Th this project, it's a regional cities in initiative project, but yes. the Studebaker name uh, in South Bend uh, at one time was you know, truly iconic, employing sure what, 20,000 plus people at these old camps? 20, 30,000 at wow. its heyday. So it really helped establish South Bend as an international leader. Global Access Point is building on the shoulders of those that came before because Studebaker was very in inventive mm -hmm. and now we're just taking that uh, iconic element yeah. and translating it into the future. Well, let's talk about uh, this project. It is a massive project. Yes. Uh, <laughs> talk about all of the elements and, and some have already uh, happened. You've got tenants in the old Studebaker complex now, but talk about what ultimately is the vision for this complex. Sure. Uh, what we're doing is we, we've looked at what we needed to translate South Bend from an industrial age mm -hmm. to a digital age. And so we are one of two carrier hotels in the state. We have uh, dark fiber to uh, CERMAC, which is another carrier, major carrier hotel in the world in Chicago. So we've, we built it on those core elements. And then we've gotten very good at uh, the power portion. So we can produce Bitcoin and blockchain, high density power, supercomputers, cloud computing, international compute. So we've, we've, already, we've been doing that for about 25 years now. Mm -hmm. And so on top of it, what we've discovered is technologists want to be by the technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've figured out how to blend that technological space next to the technology. And that's what drove me to expand from the Union Station to the Studebaker building. You talk about the technology and connecting South Bend to the world, really, that, that this area is, is home to some of the densest uh, fiber concentration in the nation. Absolutely, because the Union Station converged three railroads. That means you had three easements mm -hmm. for the fiber optics to go down. And so if you're heading out of east, out of Chicago, you pass by me. And then sometimes you go down, I have fiber that connects South Bend to Indianapolis, or you continue to New York. So we leveraged that kind of power or uh, fiber density connectivity and made it uh, accessible to the community. Yeah, a a as you look at uh, the regional nature and the cooperation uh, needed for this project, how important is that, is that piece? Oh, it's essential because I'm so, I'm so pleased that our state has become a regionalist. One of the goals would be to find the virtualization of all those regional centers and integrate them together. Mm -hmm. Because once you can play as a regional asset, you can play internationally. And that's my goal. My hope is that Indiana should get back on the stage. As you look at what this can become, this uh, the Studebaker uh, complex, close to Four Winds Field, the, uh, the baseball park there, mm -hmm. you've got a world-class university, obviously, and mm -hmm. Notre Dame right in the backyard there. What's the potential? What could you envision this area as looking like, feeling like in, in say, 10 to 15 years? So when you look at it contextually, we now have the connectivity. I'm virtually at Chicago, mm -hmm. but we have all the uh, technologists being minted, if you choose, at Notre Dame and Purdue and mm -hmm. throughout the state. So we're rich in talent. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is to have a platform where that talent can meet the technology and, and meet the needs of, of the world, frankly. Very good. Kevin Smith is the CEO of Global Access Point. The Studebaker Complex and that development is a major uh, development. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> hey, we'll be following you. the story. Thank okay. you very much.